Hello there and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I wanted to tackle a question that I've actually gotten quite a few times in the comments and that is why did I get the 13 inch version of the Surface Book 2 and not the 15 inch and I gave that question a lot of thought because I that was a decision that was really difficult for me to initially make. There were a lot of factors that went into it and I created kind of a short list of some of the reasons why I went with the smaller version that does not have the GTX 1060 in it. And the first one that I want to discuss with you today is actually the size of this particular unit. Now this is a 3x2 display so it's not 16x9 and that creates a unique conundrum when comparing it directly to other laptops. So just to give you a bit of an idea and for size comparisons, here is my 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro Retina and as you can see in terms of the depth approximately keep in mind bezels and all it's actually not that much shorter um, but it is not as wide certainly and another comparison that I would also like to make is with my ThinkPad <laughs> And one thing that you'll actually notice if you take the battery hump into account is, is that this machine is not that much larger or smaller than the X220, which you may become a little bit surprised that my time with my ThinkPad made me want to look for a different form factor for my next laptop. There was a lot of times when I was around the house where using the ThinkPad X220 was infinitely nicer. And in fact, it was infinitely nicer to travel with. So there was a good amount of time where I wasn't traveling for work or if I was doing other things or if I was troubleshooting stuff at other locations, the ThinkPad came with me, not only because of its capabilities running Linux or any other uh, OS that I really needed to, quite frankly, the size was a huge benefit. So that was one of the reasons why I would eventually make the choice to go a little smaller, even though I realized that I was making a few sacrifices, including that GTX 1060. The other thing that I kind of enjoyed about the smaller one is I'm driving a lower sized display and I'm driving a much lower grade graphics card, which theoretically is going to provide a longer battery life. And battery life is one of the things that is very, very important to me. So I went with the smaller size, so I wasn't driving as many hardware heavy components. Now, speaking about hardware heavy components, the GTX 1060 is essentially the only difference in terms of the hardware between the two machines. The 15 inch and the 13 inch both have the CP, same CPU. The 15 inch can keep higher clock speeds because it has a built in fan and it has uh, got, I believe, 5 watts additional power uh, being pushed to it by default. So that same CPU is being pushed. Uh, a little harder but I've seen tests on other channels and both of them will eventually throttle and I'm not really pushing it that hard in the first place so I'm not really getting the additional benefit of that 5 watt boost and the fan inside uh, the tablet portion so that to me was not really uh, a factor. It might be for you, it was not for me. Let's talk about the graphics card. It's only got a 1050 in here, which is better than dedicated, certainly, but it is going to pale in comparison against the GTX 1060. That being said, this is more of a work computer for me. I have a gaming desktop at home. That's where I do all of my gaming. It is very, very rare that I get time to game on the go. And when I do, I'm not necessarily going to be playing uh, those highly graphically demanding titles on uh, this unit. I'm just not going to. So over time I came to the realization that, that the GTX 1060 is very very nice 
but for me in my use case it was not a contributing factor on to which one to purchase. The other thing that we need to introduce is the cost difference. Now there's a bit of a phenomenon if you are willing to go down to a 256 gigabyte hard drive the 15 inch version is actually a few hundred or I believe $100 less than the 13 inch with the 512 gigabyte hard drive. And many of you will probably be aware that there are SD card uh, adapters that are specifically designed for the Surface Book series that actually allow you to insert a micro SD card to artificially increase the storage. The problem with that is, is that I then lose my SD card slot, which I like to use for photography. And I've also got the issue of very, very slow write speeds and read speeds. So the only other option to get around that very tiny hard disk would either to be to carry around an external drive, which kind of defeats the purpose of portability, and I also cannot access those files detached, or I need to come up with a cloud solution. There was just too many problems being created by not having that hard disk space. So those are kind of the reasons why I made the choice to get the smaller version. And you know what? Looking back, I'm not really regretting that choice at this point. If you have any questions about uh, some of the things that I've talked about, I would highly encourage that you leave those questions in the comment section below so I can read through, think about them, and respond to them as best as I can. I really think that the 15-inch is a really good machine, but I also think that the 13-inch is kind of the underdog out of the two. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this content, and as I said, love to hear from you in the comments below, and if you think that this sort of uh, dialogue is helpful to you, I would encourage you, if you are able to show your support, simply by clicking that red subscribe button below the video. It might seem like a trivial thing to do, but it actually does uh, help me out, and also is a form of encouragement uh, to continue this process going. So thanks, and I'll see you later.